Got it here, credit card size, fork and a knife. Perfect for camping. Looks like all of this is metal, even this holder. Let's see what it's all about. You pull this out, pull this out. This side here still metal, love it that is not plastic. Plastic is really annoying. Then it seems like there's a blade actually sticking out. Be careful, don't cut yourself. You got it here, a little uh, knife to cut a steak, whatever. And there is a little fork, boom. So perfect, cut a steak, eat it, beautiful. Uh, I usually cut it with my left hand. I always hold a fork in my right hand for some reason. I don't switch hands even though I'm right-handed. Anyways, let's pull this out. The same thing over here. No, this one is a little bit different. This is a butter knife and a fork. That's why I bought two different kinds. So in case you need a steak knife, you eating the steak, you got that. Easy, love this product so much. And a butter knife in case you're eating something softer. Doesn't matter which side seems to be. It's such a high quality, except this one, plastic. I don't like plastic as much, but at the same time, if you want it to be a little bit lighter, you can do so. And it goes back inside here. It's kind of a slides in, uh, except doesn't want to slide in with this plastic. It opens on me for some reason. There you go, slide in. Yeah, I don't like plastic as much, not as durable. The metal one is so much better. It's not flimsy, just line it up, super easy. Get this fork and make sure you put it in this way in. So you just slide it up like that and it slides in so well, boom not gonna come out. This one is nice, a little bit lighter, but I don't like it that it's a lot more flimsier, you see it? Also this one, because it's more durable and sits in a much better, have a little hole, that way you're gonna guess hang it somewhere. This one doesn't have a hole for any. Got it here, hand crank blower, especially perfect for charcoals or, I don't know, bonfires, whatever, you start the fire somewhere around the house, the fires. So it looks like simple assembly. There's like a little fan puddles inside of it. Um, just plugs in like that, that's it. I need the screwdriver. Okay, all good. I wonder if it's blow anything. I don't know, I thought it'd be more powerful. Okay. I mean, it's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I think the best thing to do is kind of put the end of your machine over here and then that way you have leverage to really spin it. Oh yeah, that stuff is so hot now. Woo -hoo. There is our charcoal. Do you see how red it gets? It's pretty awesome and I can even see a little bit of flames. But I honestly thought it would be a lot easier to spin it. It's a bit harder, that's for sure. I wish it was electric, would have been even easier. But it's super nice that you don't have to worry about batteries too. Got it here, funny looking fire starters. Check this out, there's a whole box of them. And so what's so cool about these fire starters, candlings, because it has little fuse to where it's easy to light it up, just like a mini candles in a way. But they also look funny like those pirate mini bombs, you know? You can see them in the video games and stuff. So funny. Okay, let's go try to start a fire. Probably just need two of them. See how well they're going to work. So got my fire starters right here. Go light them right here. And this one. Okay. Looking like they're burning pretty good. So once it reaches this actual fire starter, it's lighting up real quickly. That's what I wanted to see. Sometimes they put fuse on things that actually burn out and the actual fire starter doesn't burn. Now I'm just gonna put another log on top of it. And no worries, we're gonna get the fire going pretty good. It's burning. There you go. And we got the fire going. I don't have to do anything else. I don't need any kind of small kindling. 
that's it thus far starter things is gonna get this big logs on fire pretty quickly and as you can see the whole thing is burning really good from the top bottom beautiful got it here firelight it comes with one of these waterproof cases so let's see what it's all about this is a flashlight and at the same time oil lighter how cool is that so it says uh, splash proof not waterproof and it's uh, 20 plus lumen so pretty good flashlight over here so let's first of all put this stuff in and it'll be easy to refill it very small too doesn't take a lot okay saturated that's good enough for me how do you turn on the actual flashlight let's open it and see if the batteries is good okay usually there's a little plastic cover keeps the batteries uh, from keeps the batteries from being used or go old so now it's a nice pin we're gonna close it and I bet whenever we're gonna spin it it will light up we'll go in the dark room and see what it's going to look like so then you want to open that easy just blow it out and ready to go again it's one of those tiny little lighters I like it okay close it off ready to go again let's go test out the flashlight so as you can see a really dark room a little bit of light boom wow look at that this is a really nice flashlight so it's a kitchen flashlight very tiny but it illuminates the whole room really good check this out we can walk avoid the bins really cool come out to a panel fix something shut it off beautiful tiny little flashlight but very very bright got it here pretty unique flashlight let's see what it's all about there's never enough flashlights there is not that many for sale flashlight with the charger like that all you have to do is just plug it in into your car very bright flashlight obviously couple of moods so I got my charger over here and you can just plug it in to get it going boom let's see if it will give us any indication that it's charging oh no way look it slides up so when it's charging as you can see it slides up that tells you it's in charge that's so cool obviously the car must be on you could be charging it while you're driving it probably gonna keep it in the car somewhere over here that is easy to grab on i barely even use that and it's always close by if i need it and once in a while i will just charge it so cool so very bright mood less bright recharge it got it here another pretty unique lighter over here and a blower at the same time never seen anything like that so first of all you got it here a lighter and probably you can put it on some kind of kitchen or whatever seems to be really lightweight so you refill your lighter over here and this right here will be your blower as you can see there's actual a hole that goes to so I'll show you to how to use it you open it up and you can blow up hot coals and make a fire not going to take a lot of lighter fluid that's for sure this casing is really lightweight seems to be some kind of aluminum or something so you got it here this smallest lighter brand new you got actual lighter over here it's a little bit windy no problem okay gonna turn it off let's say we start a fire then you can blow it i'll show you in a second what it looks like but once you're all done you're just gonna close it like that whenever you need to blow it, you take this out get the fire going and then let's go blow something up so obviously it's already a big fire going but it's made for in the beginning when you're starting the fire just to blow it And that way you blow it exactly on the hot coals. Whoa! Obviously, as you can see, it works, but it's not meant to blow at the uh, actual hot fire. 
whenever you put more firewood and it's not burning anymore or you just start in the fire and you have hot coals that way you can blow right at the hot coals and get the fire going again makes sense right and boom it plugs in into the lighter Camping fork and a knife by Outdoor Age. I've been reviewing a lot of gadgets by Outdoor Age. They're pretty good company. A lot of their knives are very unique and really, really cool. So this is how it's supposed to be. You put it to and lock it in. And with the tension, it's gonna hold everything together. You can use it as a, a spoon, soup spoon, teaspoon, whatever. You wanna take it apart, just pull this up, take it out. You have right here a fork. And, like it looks like a wrench, would probably never use it. This side here seems to be supposed to be can opener, but it's not very sharp, so it might be able to punch it with it and make a bunch of little holes and open it slowly. Then a bottle opener over here, and that's it. This side here, knife, need to cut up a steak, bunch of meats, kalbasa, whatever. And it's beautiful. It seems to be very sharp and skinny, so you'll have no problem. I just love the design, the way they put together. A lot of times you put together a fork and a knife like that, it kind of doesn't stay together. This thing sticks together so well, no way it's gonna come apart. Got right here pretty unique mini camping lanterns, lights. So let's see what they're all about. Oh wow, they plug in into the each other and I guess we'll need a power bank. So it's pretty long whenever you separate it and also you can replace this for this and looks like it's going to... So that way you're going to have a different colors again. I guess carabiners goes over here so you can hang it on a branch or whatnot. So we will need power bank. Good thing I have this anchor power banks. I love them. Looks like this one a much newer one. Why these power banks are the best? Because you can plug it in into the wall. You don't have to have a cord and plug it in into your computers. Everybody always forget to do that. You press it right here to see if it's charged. Looks like this one not charged at all. So I could just plug it in into generator, charge this up while this one's on at the same time. So when this thing charged up, I can unplug it and uh, actually use it. But I have another one that's already charged, older model. Let's see if it's going to work with it. You see the older model had two and one of those under plugs. So that's why I bought the other one. And also it charged fully. You can see it because it's bright. But boom, you have all the lights all the way light up. Except this one. There you go. You just gotta press on and off. You can turn some of them on and use just one. So that's cool. So if you wanna unplug them, use just one, just like a little flashlight. Not super bright, but let's go in the dark, see what it looks like. I guess you can pull them down a little bit so that way it looks like a mini lantern. That's cool. You know what, surprisingly, this is a very bright. I can't believe it. It's lighting up the whole room like mini little lanterns. And if I turn it off one at a time, check this out. Looks like there's a brighter mood and darker mood. This is just one of them. And look how bright it is. Wow, especially on the bottom over here. So I guess if we push this up, it's gonna make it even brighter. Check this out. This is so bright, but it's kind of not like lantern feel to it. So it's probably best to pull it up like that. And then you have this beautiful green uh, area. So nice. And whenever we turn it off, completely pitch dark. You see there is a little light. So it's pretty awesome. As you can see, lighting up the room very very well with all these different colors and if you don't like the colors you can just go with the white probably will be even brighter and the best part about it i could plug it in into the outlet and this thing could be on always in my bedroom or whatever got myself electronic binoculars for the first time usually this is what we use just regular binoculars with lenses very reliable don't need batteries that's why i like them but this one will need batteries, so I guess not as reliable, but maybe it will be a lot easier 
to use. Let's see. There's a whole bunch of different burns. I just got this one. I think they are on hundred and ninety dollars, hundred and eighty. Some of them a little bit more than two hundred. Very nice casing. Looks like you got right here a charger and a stuff. So I guess you can bring with you a solar panel to recharge them if you go like out hiking for a long time camping. Wow, beautiful. So I got the camo style. Looks like there's a non-slip grip. So if you put it on a car, hopefully it won't slip. Um, there's a on button, zoom in and out, I guess plus and uh, minus. So let's turn it on. You see how the you see how there's too much clouds and sun and hard to see so you can put it over like that and a lot easier to see it's a little bit of a small screen so then let's zoom in way closer as you can see it's a like clicks it and it's kind of a like off a little bit so you can like focus and stuff you see it so it's like a little square on a box it looked like it was going to be high definition but no you have like a little square right here quite shaky so maybe good idea of setting it on tripod and then there is a picture but there's no sd card you can press it to zoom out press it mode again and it'll zoom back in that's what it's going to look like on me a lot easier to zoom in zoom out you know the problem with this binacom loss the more you zoom in the worst quality you're getting. I would say it's better to just have uh, real binoculars than this stuff. With all that snow, everything kind of overexposing. With the regular binoculars, once you adjust it to your face, uh, kind of have to stabilize it, but it's not as shaky and you get instantly clear view. And right here, you just spin it, instantly adjust the focus. Obviously with the camera, it's a little bit different, but look at that quality. When I look at that tree, just adjust it. Where it's at? Adjust it, you can see way, way further. Resolution is way better for sure. You see that? So good. Okay, now let's put them to the test in complete darkness. See how well the $150 night vision works. Zoom in. Okay, you can adjust the brightness. Well, it's kind of cool. If there is light, you can see it really well. But again, whenever you zoom in, the quality is not good. I'll show it to you guys in a sec. There is a good example. Really dark out here. Camera cannot see anything. I cannot see anything. But if you look to this thing, uh, the garage definitely reflects uh, a lot of light. There is a car with the open trunk. So yeah, there is a trailer. Pretty awesome. So I could definitely see somebody next to it and they won't see me. There's a bunch of boxes, beehive boxes standing around. There should be goats over there. Let's go see if the goats are doing okay. There's a fence, there's a barn. I think I see, you see that black spot over there in the middle of the screen? I think that's a Jeff over there, that's a goat. So you kind of can see it. Without that thing, you would not be able to see it, but we are pretty far away from here. Okay, let's zoom in on that goat. You see the problem with this thing? It becomes pretty unsteady and the quality of this thing is really, really bad and very, very shaky. So yeah, it cannot be focused right now. So if you zoom in too much, quality is bad. But at least we can see the goat and the fence and it's a pitch black dark without it so it's pretty unique chip option for night vision binoculars as you can see you could definitely check it out what's going on at the end of the street and the end of the garage especially in the blackout or check on your animals in case you have a bunch of chickens and you can see a raccoon or coyote running around trying to eat it boom you can check it out if everything okay over there so i like it for cheap option 150 dollars I know night vision gets really expensive, so if this video does well, I might buy a little bit better option and review it. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Got it here, 300 lumen gas lantern. Got it here, the world most powerful gas lantern. 300 lumens. How crazy is that? So, I think I bought it at bus for shop. Let's unbox it and see what it's all about. 
oh man i have done so many gadget so with this burned anyways really nice uh, case over here looks like this thing slide out to the side like that and the propane tank gonna go under just unspin this side here and then just pull it up and you can take everything apart really easily done got out here these balloons don't think it matters which way up or down so there's like clear wires that you just pull up and twine that cool same thing on the other side right here too and you don't want to put the glass on at first because you want to burn off all the smoke first of all okay and light it up whoa this one too and you see it's gonna smoke a little bit we're just gonna let it smoke off all of that that's why i did it without the uh, glass over here because it would have just uh, make it really really dark probably do it a little bit smaller okay gonna turn it off and then carefully put the glass over it just cold over here that's why it's fogging up a little bit then i'm gonna put this over then put this cover on and zip it up so a little bit complicated but once you figure it out it's really easy now this burn off cloth will be like a, a light bulb there you go this is a maximum 3000 lumens looks like mostly it's burning up from the top you see the fog is going away especially on this side already went away and yeah you can make it a bit smaller not as bright oh no it's actually brighter wow so it's a clear notches over here it feels like a notches for example we're in a really dark garage right now it's on the minimum and let's turn it up to the maximum whoa camera adjust and this is probably will overpower the actual uh, regular light bulbs look how bright that is so look how bright it is inside of the really really dark garage it's reflecting of the garage door that's why you can even see a little bit of the light on this side as well because the white garage door reflection crazy really really bright love this thing so much it's almost too painful to look at look at that camera cannot deal with it it's over adjusting like crazy and that's what it looks like whenever you set it down so everything pretty bright obviously camera just like crazy every time i pointed at it but it does give off a lot of shade as you can see so it's really cool for camping and whatnot when i concern some uh, propane you can make it a bit darker and it's still plenty of brightness as you can see really unique man it takes a long time to cool off that's for sure so you want to make sure you let it sit for a while because it's a lot of gas so yeah very cool wow the legs come off pretty easily that's for sure whenever you want to fold it up i would assume it would be a little bit harder to fold it up yeah and then you just stick it back in the case really nice and foldable still really big even if it folds so i'd say this is a camp base uh, lenta or for the camper things like that definitely not gonna hike with that that would be a lot of gear <laughs>